everybody, Janine Mason from Lighthouse Art Center in Tequesta, Florida. I'm the curator here and I'm going to take my mask off because it's probably hard to hear me. I'm so happy to introduce you today to William Quilina Paul. Hi, William. Good afternoon, Janine. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Our Thank soul you for right me. now is, is our soul. Our show right now is Soul on Art, Ghosts of Africa. And we have such fabulous artists here today, but we especially have you. William, what do you use? What do you paint in? I paint in gouache. Gouache is opaque watercolor. I picked it up um, right after I graduated from college because I used to stipple and it was taking too long and I was trying to find a shortcut. But this still ends up being six weeks per piece. So it's still not a shortcut, <laughs> but it's a joy. It's a joy to do these works and I really enjoy sharing and putting my soul on art on paper so people can actually get a feel for where Ghana is. That's where I'm from. I'm originally from Ghana. So this is a way that I like to share my work and showcase what my culture is all about. But you live in Savannah now, is that right? I live in Savannah now. I used to be in Chicago and uh, finally decided that it was too cold. I had to move to more places that reminded me of home, temperature-wise. And so Savannah was wonderful. And it's opened a whole different uh, avenue of uh, looking at art and uh, painting. So I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. I William and I have known each other for over 20 years, and I remember a story you told me once about your father coming to this country to teach, yes. and that he wanted you to become an historian. Yes, and I was like, no. But he did. <laughs> he did. I did. You are recording history visually. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's important that, you know, with storytelling or with, you know, as people from Ghana have always been symbolic in our stories, you know, we've always used symbols. So art has turned to be like a symbol to share and exchange cultural ideas for people to see what different cultures are all about. And so this is a way to actually share that and also let people know what Ghana is all about. So in my experience, you, you don't need to speak the language. Um, art can cross all time, cultures. It, it is its own method of communicating, and you've done it so beautifully. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be with us here at the Lighthouse Art Center from January 26, which is today, until March 10th. Yes. Actually, your work will be My here. My work will be here. Your work will be here. Yes. Okay. All right. So, listen, if you see this video between those dates, you've got to come and see this show. It's beautiful. Thank you.